I'm going to do an ukiyo-e style watercolor. I'm fascinated by the aesthetic appeal of ukiyo-e prints and uh, I wanted to test out it, to, to see if I could do it with watercolor. So I sketched out an image of my friend Keith Williamson walking in Montjuic Park, which is in Barcelona. Uh, we had gone to an exhibition at the Miro Museum, and it showed, it was, I forgot the guy's name, but it was, it was an artist, an ukiyo-e artist from the mid-20th century, or early 20th century named Ito something, Shin Shen or something. And uh, it showed the steps that it takes to produce an ukiyo-e print. And um, I just think that it's hard to deny the um, aesthetic appeal of ukiyo-e prints. I think that they look uh, so they're almost dazzling in their in their attractivity, you know. So I want to be able to see if I can replicate that without actually going through the process of doing woodcuts. And I also want to see if I can discover or understand what the um, the 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 core sort of magnetism, visual magnetism that ukiyo-e prints possess. So what I think it is is it's the thick outlines coupled with the um, broad fields of grady, gradated, so gradient uh, colors. And you can also sort of exaggerate the colors a little bit or stylize them or just make color, choose colors that you like as opposed to what colors, what colors were actually uh, uh, present in the scene itself naturally. So, um, by the time I finished this, I think I was quite actually quite satisfied with the result. Um, the difference between this and standard ukiyo-e prints is that I'm not drawing. I haven't. I didn't draw quite as well anywhere near as precisely as they do in their woodcuts, and uh, also they all they're also very precise with the colors. But otherwise, the overall aesthetic was quite successful in this actually. So that's encouraging because I feel like I want to um, continue experimenting with ukiyo-e.